Chief Brooks warns why you should consider bringing your mail inside the post office. Hi, uh, this is Chief Bill Brooks. Uh, I want to speak a little bit about a matter that we've covered before around the theft of mail from mailboxes and the subsequent passing of stolen checks. So what we've talked about before are people that would go into mailboxes and they would fish the mailboxes. The way this used to happen is that they would take soda bottles on a string and the soda bottles would have fly paper wrapped around them or, or some other gummy substance. They would drop it into the mailbox. It would adhere to some of the mail. They would then fish it out, which is where the term comes from, um, and they would open the mail. And the mail that had checks in it, they would then uh, wash and, and uh, negotiate. So the way that was done was there's, there's a formula that they can use and they, they wash the check and it for the most part takes the ink off. They would then take the blank check, make it out to themselves or a, a co-conspirator uh, and make it out for whatever amount they wanted. And then they would go and negotiate the check. And sometimes the people doing the fishing of the checks um, and, then, and then making them out would actually make them out to uh, a cohort who would then actually go into the bank and, uh, and try to cash them. So what we had recommended to the U.S. Post Office, and this is something that they've done, is that they have, um, they have replaced all of the mailboxes in the town um, or reconfigured them so that you no longer have you know, the, the draw that you pull down with the, with the large opening that you put the mail in through. Now, if you've noticed, there's a, a very thin slot, and it's actually got a device on the inside so that you can push the mail in, but it would be difficult to get it back out. And uh, unfortunately, the post office has replaced all of the mailboxes in town so that they are this new anti-theft type. So you'd think the problem would be over. Uh, not quite. Unfortunately, some of the people in these, queue, in these crews have actually gone out and begun holding up letter carriers. The letter carriers carry a key called an arrow key. It's a very specific key that is used to open mailboxes. So they've actually robbed, sometimes at gunpoint, letter carriers just for the purpose of stealing the arrow key. They then take that arrow key, open mailboxes, and as I described before, take out mail that has checks, wash the checks, and then negotiate them. So the recommendation that we had made before um, about bringing your mail inside the post office, that's, that's back, because that really is the way to, to thwart this particular system. And I, and I know that it's a pain and it's inconvenient, but if you can, when you go to the post office, you know, park out front and actually carry the mail in, you don't have to stand in line, you don't have to go to the counter. As soon as you walk in, you'll see that there's slots for you to put your mail, and it goes directly into the mail system that way. That way it's never at risk of being stolen. So, again, I know it's inconvenient, but I just suggest that people manage their mail that way, particularly if you're mailing a check. So, sorry for bad news, it's, a, it's, it's the way that it is. We've had uh, several people in Norwood who have been victimized in this way. Uh, so that's kind of a that's kind of a tip for today.